Dear students, in this unit we will study diverse nutritional and metabolic adaptations in prokaryotes. As we know that uh, nutrition is very important source of energy. Every organisms have to acquire nutrition in order to survive. So when we talk about the prokaryotes, they are actually metabolically very diverse organisms. So they have plenty of different sources in order to get uh, energy from them and, uh, and fulfill their nutritional needs. Now, we can broadly classify them in two categories. One is phototrophs and the other is chemotrophs. Phototrophs, you are well aware that uh, they are the organisms which synthesize their own food with the help of photosynthesis they get their energy from sun. So there are species of prokaryotes which are phototrophs. They need sun to get their source of energy. And they are just like the plants. They take energy from the sun and then they synthesize their own food. While there are some other um, organisms or prokaryotes which are chemotrophs, they utilize different chemical compounds to get their energy source. Now, when we talk about the source of carbon, there are two types of prokaryotes. When we talk about uh, in terms of taking carbon as a source, so two types of prokaryotes are autotrophs and heterotrophs. Autotrophs are the one which get their carbon di carbon from the carbon dioxide. And the heterotrophs, they are the organisms which get their carbon source, source from the other living organisms. Now, when we classify them on the basis of metabolism, there are two major nutritional needs which prokaryotes, they need. One is the carbon metabolism and the other is energy metabolism. Now, it is very much clear from this picture, you can see, that we have atmospheric, atmospheric carbon dioxide. It's a source of carbon. Plants use them to photosynthesis, to do the photosynthesis. And we have studied that there are cyanobacteria or blue-green algae, which also perform photosynthesis just like the plants. They fix carbon dioxide and they release they fix in the photosynthesis process, they fix carbon dioxide, they synthesize their food, and oxygen is released in the environment. While there are some other prokaryotes, which you can see here, that they use carbon of other organisms like plants, animals, and they utilize, they decompose those, and they fix those carbon into carbon dioxide again and that carbon dioxide is available in the form of atmospheric carbon. Now this whole recycling of carbon is very important process and there are certain prokaryotes which help in the recycling of these nutrients. Now when we talk about energy metabolism, prokaryotes are cla classified as phototrophs, chemotrophs, just like we have discussed earlier. Now, on the basis of this energy and carbon sources, there are four different major mode of nutrition which exist in these prokaryotes. One is photoautotrophy, the other is chemoautotrophy, the third one is photoheterotrophy, and the fourth one is chemoheterotrophy. These mode of nutrition or the metabolism, this help them to uh, survive best in the challenging environment.